In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a hot water pasteurization for bulk substrate in your kitchen, getting perfect results. I'm going to be using aspen bedding in this video just because I like the texture and find that it colonizes really fast, but you can use any bulk substrate that you've got at home. We'll be doing the pasteurization using these plastic cereal containers which are made of polypropylene as you can see by the symbol on the bottom. First thing I'm going to do is place about a litre's worth of aspen bedding into each one of these cereal containers. Next thing I'm going to do is pour about 900 millilitres of hot water over the bulk substrate and then allow it to sit and hydrate for about an hour or two. Once the bulk substrate is hydrated, we are going to drain off any excess water. I just put a jar inside the cereal container and then turn it upside down and apply pressure on the back. And I do this until water stops coming out of the substrate. Tidy up any loose substrate that might be hanging around at the top of the cereal container and just push it down towards the rest of the substrate. You're going to need a cooking thermometer which has an alarm on it where you can set the temperature and then an alarm goes off when you hit that temperature. You can get these on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description below. So put tin foil over the top of your containers and then push the thermometer through making a small hole and then you just want to lift the foil off and then make sure the thermometer is pushed deep inside the bulk substrate. You only have to do this to one of the containers as all of them will be the same temperature, around the same temperature at the same time so you don't need to worry about doing each one.
Next, grab the largest pan possible and then line it with something. I'm just using jar lids. You can use a pressure cooker rack or something similar. You're going to put the container on top of the jar lids and then fill up the pan with water that should come about a third of the way up on your substrate. Next, you want to put your stove on hot and then allow the water to heat up and you want to set the alarm on the thermometer at 140 degrees Fahrenheit which is 60 degrees Celsius. Once the water in the pan starts boiling, it's going to start moving the containers around so I just put a bowl on top of all three of the containers to secure them in place. Once the alarm starts beeping to signal that you're at the right temperature, you should turn off your stove. Now that you're at 140 Fahrenheit, you should set a 60 minute timer on your phone. Next, change the thermometer temperature to 170 Fahrenheit. Eventually the bulk substrate will hit a peak temperature and then it will start to reduce back down So you want to stay around the stove just to make sure it doesn't go above 170 and underneath 140 The first time you do this you probably want to stay around the stove and monitor the temperatures on the thermometer Just to make sure that you're not going outside of pasteurization temperatures If it goes under 140 you just turn the burners back on and rise it back up if it goes over 170, remove the containers from the pot. Realistically, you shouldn't have to do this though. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, like, subscribe. And as always, there's a detailed write-up of this, which you can find in the description below.